This is riff by Coldplay, and it's called Every Teardrop is a Waterfall. Now, it's a great riff. It's quite complex timing, so we need to have a look at how the notes are arranged, um, and then I'll go through and show you how to play it. Now, the song's from the key of A major, and it's pretty well just a four chord to a one chord, so I'll show you what I mean by that. If I start with an A scale, which would be A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then A. The one chord is the A, and the D would be the four. Remember, chords are built from triads where you skip over notes. So this chord would be D, F sharp, and A. The one chord would be the A, the C sharp, and the E. Oops, I forgot to write the A there. So really, that's just an A chord, and that's just a D chord. We can go into all the triads and that, but pretty well the song is just a four back to a one for a majority. There is a couple other chords in there. So that's what it's built from. Now, the riff is straight out of the A scale, and it plays pretty well every note of the A scale um, as in the riff, except I don't think there's a G sharp in there, so it kind of could be a Mixolydian song. You could treat it as a A Mixolydian. Anyway, now the riff, let's go timing, because this is where it gets quite complex. Now, it's a two-bar riff in 4-4. Four, four. So the first bar starts off with this timing where I'll draw it, and then I'll explain it to you. Now, it's got three notes in the beat, and it would be drawn like that. Now, that's a semiquaver, or a 16th note, if you want to call it. Um, so it goes semiquaver, quaver, semiquaver, which is quarter, half, and quarter of a beat. We're going to count that as one E. We're missing the and, and then the a. Uh. So it goes one E, a, uh, into the next beat. Now, it's tied into the next one, and it has this rhythm of going like this which you'd count that as two E and. But that is, as I said, was tied. So it gets this rhythm of going one E, a, uh, E, and, which is quite a complex thing. So one E, a, uh, E, and. And just remember that two there is not played. All right. Now the next beat's the easy one in the bar. It's just quavers. So it's just the two notes. Then we've got these semi-quaver triplets, which is really trying to fit six notes into a beat. So it would be drawn like this. So that's the triplet part and that's the quaver part. Now the timing wise with this, I normally count my triplets as one E R uh, and then that's going to be the and because it's the middle of the beat. I should probably write on there three and. So with that timing there, um, it's going to go one E, R, uh, E, and. Now, actually, you don't play the three. That is tied through there. Then you go the and, and then this is going to be, whoops, that should be a four E, R, uh, and. So it's going to sound like one E, R, uh, E, and, and four E, and. One E, R, uh, E, and, and four E, and is the timing for it. Now, the next bar is pretty well the same, except these are reversed. So that is on the third beat and then the quavers are over on the fourth. So instead of me rewriting it, I'll just explain it like that. So let's go through the notes. Now there's a couple of um, slurs in there that we'll like, explain as we play. Now to do this, you want to start with your first finger on the twelfth fret here, and it's pretty well going to stay there. So this is just an A arpeggio up the top here. So that stays on that E. I'm going to put my fourth finger onto this A up the top here, which is the one of the chord, and then that's the C sharp. So as you can see here, we said A, C sharp, E is what the, the chord's made of, and he's made the riff up out of that. Now the first bit there, I'm going to pick this with a down pick, and then I'm going to pull off to that note on that, and then I'm going to re-pick that with an up. So, and that's these first three notes here. So I'm going down, pulling off to that one, and then I'm picking up on that. So I get this. And now I'm going to re-pick it again, and I'm going to go to this note. And that's for this bit here where it goes E and, which I'm doing up, down. So I'm doing down, pull off, up, up, down. So here's the first bit. Now I've got the gap where this tie is, and then I'm going to re-pick this note here. So I get... Now here's the tricky bit. This is the, the semi-quaver triplets. It goes... So what I'm doing is, again, that finger hasn't moved. I'm picking that note hammer to the 14, then pull it off, and then come back down to here. So get this. So that's the four of your and. 
So that first bar would sound like this. Be one E, A, E, and, and four E, and. And now the second bar starts off the same, does a but it changes this note. And so instead of going to the 14 on the second string, it does the 14 on the first string. So I get that one E, A, E, and. Now I've got that triplet, the, which is the same as what we did here, but we're now doing it over here. So I get the, and then the last two notes, which is where, remember we said we're shifting that to the fourth beat, is where we pick, and it's just that 12, then 14 on the first string. So the second bar slowly would sound like this. It'd be, All right, so the whole thing slow would be. And then repeat. So I'll take that up to tempo, it'll sound like this. So quite a cool sounding riff there. Um, so just remember, that's a really complex rhythm there. If that's making no sense to you, just listen to it and just try and follow the instructions of where your ups and downs are. It does help quite a lot to try and be consistent with your up and down picks, to follow your semiquavers going down, up, down, up. And obviously if you're not playing something because it's replaced by a hammer on or a pull off, so like with this, you don't actually pick these second two notes in that grouping because that one's a hammered note, that's a pull off. So you go pick, hammer, pull off to get that triplet and pick that last one. So have fun with that riff. So that was uh, t Every Teardrop is a Waterfall by Coldplay.